Hello everyone, I'm back with another video. In this video, we are going to discuss how we can download and install Eclipse IDE on Windows 11. So that's been said, let's get started. So before downloading and installing Eclipse IDE, first of all, we have to install Java JDK. So we had already made a video on how you can install Java JDK 17 on Windows 11. You will get the video link in the description box or you will get the video link in the IE button. After that, you can follow this tutorial. Now to download Eclipse IDE, just open your browser and search for Eclipse IDE. Eclipse IDE is the best integrated development environment for Java programming. Now to download, open the link from eclipse.org. Don't forget about the download link. You will get the download link in the description box. So simply open this link. Here we have the official website from where we can download Eclipse IDE. Now to download, here simply click on this download option. Here we have the download page. Here you can see that Eclipse IDE 2021 12 is the latest version now to download simply click on this download option and here click on this download button here you can see it is downloading it is around 114 mb so let me come to the download process and after that i will show you how you can set up eclipse ide for java development our download has been completed now simply open this installer file here we have the eclipse installer let me minimize the browser here we have all the Eclipse installer. So we are going to install Eclipse IDE for Java development. So for that simply click on Eclipse IDE for Java developers. Here we have all the option to install Eclipse IDE for Java developer. Here we have our Java installation folder and here we have the installation folder for Eclipse IDE. Now if you have a good reason to change this location you can change by clicking on this folder icon and you can select your location where you want to install Eclipse IDE. But for now, I'm just going to keep it default. And here we have an option to create start menu entry and desktop shortcut. If you want to create, simply check this box, then click on install. Here we have Eclipse Foundation Software User Agreement. Simply read this agreement, then click on accept now. Here you can see it is installing. It will take some time to install. So wait until the installation process completes. Here you can see our installation process has been successfully completed. Now simply click on this launch button. Here we have our workspace locations. All the files will be saved in this folder. If you have a good reason to change this location, then you can change by clicking on this browse button and here you can select a location. For now, let me keep it default and click on launch. Here we have our Eclipse IDE. Here you can see welcome to Eclipse IDE for Java developer. Here we have some options to get start with Eclipse IDE. So let me close this option. Let me maximize the window. So this is the interface of Eclipse IDE. Here we have all the options such as file, edit, source and other options. Here we have some tools and here we have our package explorer. Here we have some tabs for problems, Java document and declaration and here we have our outlines. Now let me show you how you can create your first Java project using Eclipse IDE. For that click on files. Here you will find new option simply click on new and here we have option called java project let me click on java project here name your project say for example my project here we have our default workspace location here we are going to use java sc 17 because we had installed java sc development kit 17 and here we have our project layout and here simply click on next here we have the project hierarchy so here is my project folder Inside this project folder, you will find one folder called source. Inside this source folder, all your Java files will be saved. Now here, simply click on finish. Here, you will get a new window to create a module info.java file. Simply name your module, say for example, my project, then click on create. So this will create your module info.java file. Now let me create a simple Java program that will print hello world. For that, simply right click on the source folder then click on new and here click on class and here name your class say for example my class let me tell you that you should write your class name in camel case order then select your modifier let me select public and here select your method let me select public static void main string argument then click on finish so this is the base of java program here we have our package name that is my project and here we have our class name that is my class and here we have public static void main function inside this function we have to do all our coding 
Now let me explain you the package explorer. Here we have our project folder that is my project and inside this project you will find two folder. One is our Java GRE system library and our source folder. Inside this source folder you will find one package that is my project package and inside this project package you will find a class file called my class. So the class name and the file name should be same and here we have our outline overview. So we are using my project package which has my class as a class and here we are using main static function. Now let me write a simple program. Here we have system.outprintln function which will print hello world and after finishing every statement we have to write semicolon. Now to save this program simply click on file then click on save all. Now to run here we have a run option and here simply click on run. Here you can see on our console we will get hello world. Similarly you can print other statement. Say for example welcome to the coder world YouTube channel. Now to save simply click on file then click on save all and here click on run and click on this run option. And here on our console here you will find welcome to the code world YouTube channel. If you want to learn Java programming then you can check our Java beginner playlist. You will get the playlist link in the description box. So this way you can download and install Eclipse IDE on Windows 11. So that's it for this video. Hope this video was helpful to you. If you find this video helpful, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to the channel for more videos like this.